Okay, this is the final version of my guillotine tool. And for, for this style one, I, uh, I actually have uh, a machinist machine the proper hardy hole size. So for mine, for this here, it will be three quarters. And then I, uh, I forge two U-brackets and then have those welded on and, and then make sure everything is aligned. So you can see this one here fits just right. And uh, by the way, I can, uh, I would offer this in uh, three quarter, seven eighths, one inch, which would be just leave the, the, sh the shank as is, and maybe inch and a quarter, uh, but I'd have to add a little bit of money for shipping because that's uh, much heavier. So, yeah, so basically it seems, it's a it's deceptively complicated, this tool. It looks so simple, but it's not easy to get this right, the sizing and also the, the dies. The dies are medium carbon steel. They're 1050 uh, medium carbon steel. And I also have some of these machined uh, just for the precision that the gentleman does. So, you know, we have first, you know, you have your uh, fuller dies. And for these, um, I offset it to one side because it makes it much easier to locate. And then also you can use it as an offset tool as well if you reverse one. So, you know, as such, top die, and then you obviously hit on the top here. So the guide just supports the dies, and the, the actual anvil face is what what keeps the dies up and what gives it the uh, resistance for when you're hammering. So it's it's very solid. You know, I, I this style took me a while to design. Even though, like I said, it looks simple, it's, it's just deceptively complicated. So you've got your fuller dies. And then next what I'll offer is standard flat, standard flat dies. So they made up really nicely. And then a final die type, for now at least, would be these uh, dual tenon square and round and they're both about 10 millimeters and in this style I was um, able to fit two on one on one uh, die set which is better than my previous model so you've got uh, square line that up and that's ma made up very very nicely so yeah and I might offer there's one other style that uh, had a, a blade maker request me to make and that was basically fullered, but actually in this direction, so that he could uh, fuller his blades top and bottom along the length. And he seems relatively pleased with that, so I might offer that. It'll be basically like taking a flat die and then, you know, just uh, having maybe having the machinist radius it on one end or maybe in the middle and then taper off the two sides. So I haven't decided yet if I should keep that in the middle because... You know, you'll be hitting right directly in the middle here, so that'd probably be best. But if it was, if it was skewed to one side, that would give you more room between the shank to fit a blade in. So, yeah, I'm very pleased with this. Um, I'll be putting this on my website, and as well, I'll be using uh, this tool in uh, in YouTube videos very shortly. So, like I said, it's been a while in the making, just because I've been so busy with different things. So, if anyone is interested, just just let me know. Thanks very much.